I would have to say that the purest example of a laboratory theater in America is Double Edge. Theater, uh, for example, in Europe is basically an urban phenomena. You are sitting in the middle of nowhere here, uh, let's say how I feel it, or, or very much nowhere. One of the members of our company simply could not stand the fact that there were so many trees. She has now moved back to Manhattan. Somebody yesterday was telling me it should be called contemporary performance. We still haven't found out what to call it, so we just call it double ed. try to help create a world that is like a kid's world in some way, that you're always seeing things new. A laboratory theater means they do make art, uh, and they do then share that art with spectators and audiences, except it's not the four week or six week rehearsal period, sometimes it's two or three years. And the uniqueness of what this place is doing and, you know, a couple of handfuls around the planet is that deep context. I first heard about Double Edge from one of my professors from college. And he was describing Double Edge as a place where this group of actors and theater artists all lived together and they also farmed together and they did lots of physical training and they went running together and my first thought was that it sounded like a kibbutz, sort of like a commune, which was something that I wasn't really interested in. I always worked from ideas until I met Stacy and she was like, you can't work from ideas, you need to work in art, you work from desire. <laughs> it's like how you do that. If okay. you have to hold it, like here together, then there'll be an explosion. This isn't an easy process, but I think it's very exciting because it's a step towards autonomy of the actor. We start with training and then they improvise. Being here, the, the idea is that the actor is authoring his or her work, is authoring the character, the worlds, sometimes the words, but I would say the text. When the tree roots want to speak, when from underneath the turf a great many old tales and ancient sagas have been collected. We have a method, which is our training. We train sometimes every day, at least five days a week, for the most part, year-round. We do a battery of motions with different levels of intensities and strength and stamina. If you want, you would think about a sport exercise. The difference is that we don't stop. We don't stop to drink water or to think. We just continue, continue, continue be part of something that there are so many people involved in and that all are necessary to make the thing, which you could say is the performance or you could say is the, you know, the farm or, you know, a workshop for a day. But it sort of is humbling in that way to, to be totally necessary in something, but to know that um, you're not the only person that's necessary. As an employer, these are the people you would, you would die for because they love the stuff they are doing, they are, they are not counting the hours, uh, and they are willing to take also big risks. It's not everyday life. We are talking about something 
extra. We are talking about, let's say, wishes, dreams, visions, let's say, people can have, uh, or let's say, a good performance can create. So, bravo. <laughs>